Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm back on 16w43a, 1.11 snapshot, and this is episode 3 of Slash Help SC. This is a series of videos where I teach you guys how to use command blocks, trying to cover all bases. Of course, the first two episodes were about how to activate command blocks and how to use scoreboards, and basically the importance of them and what they are. So I'm really glad I got that out of the way. Scoreboards are, of course, one of the most important aspects of command blocks, and probably always will be. And uh, hopefully you guys have a solid understanding of what it's all about. Of course, you can catch up on those two videos if you haven't seen them already. I'll probably leave a link to the playlist in the video description. And of course, if you guys have any topics you'd like me to cover early on in the series, leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to assist you. But otherwise, I've already planned out the next few episodes and they're all very well linked. And speaking of which, this episode is about how to put scoreboards into practice or an introduction to that anyway, and it combines the first two episodes together. So the first episode, of course, is how to activate command blocks. And as you can see, we have a chain series of command blocks here where I press this button, these two will activate. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's just a set of tell raw commands. I'm not probably going to get too much into depth about how to use tell raw, because there's a really awesome website you guys can use called minecraftjson.com, I'll leave that in the description, and it allows you to basically set up a very nice and succinct tell raw command using the JSON tags, which I'm not too familiar with, but I do know how to use them in this regard, uh, in Minecraft anyway. So what I have here is a simple tell raw command, and it expresses some values. And just to give you guys a brief summary of what this is, I'm actually setting up a tell raw command that is going to speak all of the score, auto jump, <laughs> speak all of the scores of this armor stand, and let me explain what I've set up here. So I have an armor stand here called Pikachu and an armor stand here called Meowth. So obviously this is a Pokemon, Ash's favorite Pokemon, and this is Team Rocket's favorite Pokemon. And they're really just armor stands, but thinking about it, PokeCA is set up by armor stands and the Pokemon that you're gonna catch in that game are armor stands. If you don't know what PokeCA is, it's Pokemon in Vanilla Minecraft. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, you just clicked on this video for whatever you need to do. Um, these are essentially armor stands that represent Pokemon. Now, what am I going to do here? First of all, leaving this aside for now, I've set up a chain of command blocks that is going to provide scoreboard values to this armor stand here and <laughs> this armor stand here. Now, let me just show you guys what this is. Scoreboard player set, if you recall from the second episode, this is going to set up a scoreboard value for the objective level and a scoreboard value of 5 to Pikachu. This is an at E selector. It is name equals Pikachu, so it's this armor stand here, and it's type armor underscore stand. This has changed, of course, to 1.11. You have to use armor underscore stand now. So essentially, this command block is going to set a scoreboard value of 5 for the objective level to this armor stand here. Now, um, prior to the recording, I've actually already set these up. So scoreboard objectives add level dummy. I've set up the objective already, and I did this also for attack and defense and a few others as well for levels and hit points. So I press enter here, it's already saying that it exists. And the same thing goes for attack. I'm giving it a score of 10 for attack. I'm giving it a score of 12 for defense. Uh, this is the Australian spelling for defense. It is going to say SE though, when I set up the tell raw, and that's because I'm sticking with the Americanized version of the game. But again, it doesn't really matter uh, for the tell raw anyway. It just matters that you're using the correct scoreboard objective. You do not make a typo. If you make a typo, this will not work. And I did the same thing for Pokemon and Max HP. Uh, Pokemon is just the HP. Max HP is the Max HP. So it's got 20 out of 20, so it's full health. I'm gonna set this up. And this button is going to string all of these commands together uh, in order, so this will activate. And since they're all chain and always active, this will activate and so will these ones as well. Same thing, I'm actually, before I do that, let me spit out the tell raw. So if I press this button, what's gonna happen? And voila, it says Pikachu has a level of five, HP is 20 out of 20, attack of 10, defense is 12. Let me just show you guys, uh, just by example, because I don't want to get too much into depth with tell raw. Uh, you have the website minecraftjson.com, just explore that. It's beautifully set up and it'll just work magic. You can create amazing tell raw setups. This is just an idea of something you can do. Pixie Air one looks a lot better. It's still very neat. Everything is aligned well, and I can't complain. Just making things look really nice. As long as it shows all the details and you can clearly identify what is shown, then that's really the goal of a tell raw command. So just here I have, uh, for example, it's showing a score 
uh, by the name of at e name equals Pikachu and type I'm not score stand and the objective is defense so the score for that is 12. And then if I go back a little bit I've got a space that just aligns things very well and I have a space in between the defense and the score that's showing. Similarly I'm going to do the same thing for Meowth so if I press this button that's going to set up all the scores again so Meowth 5, Pokemon 21, Max HP 23 and so on and defense is 9. And then if I press this button, it's going to do the same thing. So this is just a basis of what you can do. You can give scores to armor stands, display them, and then you can do other things with them, such as slash execute, slash test for, uh, operations. That's essentially the whole damage calculator system of PokeCA. There are a lot of things you can do. This is just an example. So just have a tell raw versus little tag here. I only did this to separate the three command blocks. You can put all of them into one command block if you want. But uh, I felt like I could show you guys a little bit more in depth of the organizational abilities of command blocks as well. So you can separate this and apply other strings if you like. But again, I just have two Pokemon arm stands here uh, to demonstrate this idea. That's pretty much it. For the next episode, I believe what I have in store for you guys is test for, execute, any data operations, just to round out all the abilities that you can have with scoreboards and how to apply them, how to manipulate them. So that's the plan. If you guys have any topics you'd like me to cover quickly, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you guys as quickly as I can with this series. It's a little bit slow right now because I have exams and I need to work on PokeCA and all the testing things that I need to do with that. But I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more creative content and these sort of tutorials. Thanks for watching. If any questions, leave in the comments. Otherwise, take care.